Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Kenda Carrier ST17580 R13 Load Range C radial trailer tire with 13 inch silver mod steel wheel with a 5 on 4.5 inch bolt pattern. This tire and wheel assembly is ideal for your RVs, campers and trailers. And this special trailer tire has sturdy sidewalls so that it can handle heavy loads. It is created specifically for trailers and it's not intended for use on other vehicles. This radial tire is constructed with double steel belts and full nylon plies combining for superior function and long life. This tire features a computer generated tread design and a premium rubber compound materials giving it superior traction in wet or dry conditions. Now as you probably know radial ply tires are designed for trailers that are towed on the highway. The cords on a radial tire are positioned at a 90 degree angle to the direction of travel so that they lay across the width of the tire from wheel lip to wheel lip. This construction prevents the cords from rubbing against one another when the tire flexes, unlike the cords on a bias ply tire, which leads to longer tread life and improved steering at higher speeds. So this tire is going to have uh, less rolling, rolling resistance and heat buildup. Now, as I mentioned before, and as we have stamped on our tire, this is an ST175. 80R13. The section width is 7 inches and the outer diameter when fully inflated is 24.1 inches. And again, this is a load range C tire, meaning it, meaning it has a 6 ply rating and the maximum load is 1,375 pounds at 50 psi. And this tire has a speed rating of M indicating a maximum speed of 81 miles per hour. Now this sturdy steel wheel with this modular design features a silver powder coat finish over an e-coat primer to resist rust. And the beveled holes are going to help keep this wheel securely in place on your trailer hub, eliminating the need for the constant retightening of the lug nuts. The rim dimensions from bead seat to bead seat is 13 inches in diameter and the wheel width is four and a half inches. Our bolt pattern, as I mentioned, is five on four and a half inches. And of course that first number in the bolt pattern is the number of bolt holes. And the second number is the diameter in inches of the circle in which our bolt holes sit. So to determine the bolt circle diameter on wheels with an odd number of bolt holes as we have right here. You're simply going to measure from the center of any bolt hole to the point halfway between uh, the, the halfway between the two bolt holes directly across from the first. Now the wheel capacity is 1,660 pounds. The wheel stud size is a half an inch by 20. The center cap is sold separately, but if you decide to pick one up, you just need to make sure that it fits the pilot diameter of 3.19 inches. And this tire and wheel assembly does meet the Department of Transportation specifications. Well, that's going to conclude our brief look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.